This video contains disturbing and violent content. Viewer discretion advised. Video game development is a long, hard and stressful process, and often things are cancelled, changed or removed. Maybe something just didn't work in practice or they decided a new idea was better. This informative list will show some incredible changes and ideas over some interesting games that you probably never knew about. Gran Turismo Gran Turismo 2 was planned to have a drag racing mode, but it was removed late in development, making 100% completion impossible. Some of the drag racing cars though were still left in the game. The Iga Rally courses were also cut, although reinstated as Iga Nordwood in Gran Turismo 5. Gran Turismo 3 also had the Lamborghini Diablo GT, which was rendered inaccessible outside of cheats in non-Japanese versions due to licensing conflicts. Elder Scrolls 2 Daggerfall It was originally planned for the player to have sex with NPCs in the game, and there is plenty of unused text in the game's code that reflects this. Donkey Kong Country In an old Scrobes page on the Rareware website, there was mention of there once being a giraffe animal buddy planned to appear in Donkey Kong Country. This giraffe character was dropped for unknown reasons. Though one of his mentioned abilities was that he would allow Donkey Kong to crawl up his neck and reach high items and secrets. It is debated whether or not the plans for this giraffe buddy was actually real though, as Rare could have simply been making a joke at the expense of Fab, who would have made a rather odd request for a giraffe to appear in the upcoming Donkey Kong game. Super Mario Bros. 3 Numerous lost levels have been found, one of which consists of several unused variations of the empty white room with a giant question mark block that spits out three one-ups. Some of these levels contain gold cheap cheeps and green para beetles, otherwise unused palette swaps. Several unused bonus games have been found, they will involve dice rolls, but no one knows what they're actually supposed to do since all they do is roll the dice, spit out some coins and then return to the map screen. Donkey Kong 64 The Kong's weapons in Donkey Kong 64 were originally real guns, as opposed to the logs firing fruit and nuts. It's thought this change was made to avoid controversy and make sure the game received a family rating. Left 4 Dead 2 Roller Coaster Crash Originally the coaster was supposed to crash, causing the alarm to go off, which would have explained the fire in the zombie survival guide, but it was cut. Tekken 3 Tekken 3's arcade data had references to a secret fighter named Saki. Though he seems to be just Yoshimitsu's model with Jin's moveset, Saki was planned to be an animal character and that he was just a salmon. The idea was that no matter what button the player pressed, the salmon would simply flop around. This was later removed as they were concerned that the players would be angry about paying to play as a fish that can't do anything. Army of Two Army of Two was initially much more ambitious, featuring more complex co-op manoeuvres such as throwing clips to your partner and flipping objects for cover, and an emotive AI partner who would do things like pissing and listening to music in real time. However, constant delays and difficulties during development led to EA Montreal severely scaling down these features. While in the final game is not an obvious beta, it does show signs of jumpy development with its short length and rushed ending. Psychonauts. The game was initially going to be a horror-like platformer that would be Xbox exclusive as the 2002 trailer shows. The logo was also going to look like a logo for a spy movie. The camp was going to have a darker atmosphere and was going to be called Whispering Pines instead of Whispering Rock. In Lung for Shopperless, you were going to fight Linda instead of Kochimara and the final level was going to take place inside Lily's mind. Halfway through development, Double Fine made the game less scary and more funny, which caused Microsoft to refuse to publish the game. Marvel Ultimate Alliance Samus and Link were going to be unlockable characters in the Wii version of Marvel Ultimate Alliance. The developers showed them to Nintendo, but were told immediately to remove them. Mario Kart 64 Mario Kart 64 originally contained several banners showcased around the circuits, which parodied real-world products such as Marboard, Mobile and Goodyear. These were changed drastically because any of the companies could have sued Nintendo, and also one of them was parodying cigarettes. The game also featured Kamek as a playable character. 
During its last development stages, Kamek was replaced with Donkey Kong. Halo series. A number of enemies were planned for this series but were removed in the final game. The Covenant Engineer was cut so late that the files were left on the disc. The novels which make up Halo's expanded universe include them though, and they are in Halo ODST. The only reason they were cut was because the developers felt the tech couldn't convey them well enough for an emotional impact. Halo 2 was to feature an enemy called the Flood Juggernaut and the Drinal. That was supposed to be a shout out to the Holtz from Marathon. Bungie confessed that Halo 2 and 3 were supposed to be one game, which makes a plausible explanation as to why Halo 3 was so short. Imagine what Halo 2 could have been if Bungie hadn't messed up during development by wasting half of their allotted time creating a graphics and game engine that could never have been implemented. Super Mario Sunshine The trailer shown at E3 Space World 2001 showed a much more realistic Delfino Plaza, along with humanised residents instead of the Piata. The town itself was a lot greener with more white than mixed colours found in the final version. A giant mushroom type creature with two legs served as a hazard to the player as well. There were leftovers in the Japanese Super Mario Sunshine version which indicate that he got to the levels via train stations by buying tickets with soul coins. Another interesting thing is that the station list mentions levels that were cut or weren't in the game at all. These were Hotel Lacrima, Battleship Island, Erto Rock, Lighthouse Island and Flame Temple. Resident Evil 2 Often referred to as Resident Evil 1.5, Resident Evil 2 was scrapped and restarted late in development before it became the game it is today. Leon didn't change much during the transition, but Claire was originally a character named Elsa Walker, a college student vacationing in Raccoon City. Apparently the game was nearly 80% finished before game director Shinji Mikami decided he wasn't happy with it and wanted to restart. You can find footage of the nearly finished game online today. Apparently the story for the scrapped version of Resident Evil 2 was much more conclusive and could have served as an ending to the series. Luigi's Mansion Luigi's Mansion was originally going to be the first Mario game ever to be rated T. It was going to feature a much darker story with much more horrifying monsters and a much creepier mansion. The biggest change was if the game was not completed by the conclusion of one in-game day, Luigi would not save Mario and possibly become cursed himself. There were several scenes of Luigi that were never used, possibly due to how disturbing and creepy he looked. Luigi's Mansion was also planned to be in stereoscopic 3D using an add-on, but when the production of the add-on turned out to be more expensive than the system itself, it was canned. Deus Ex According to Eidos Montreal, the Montreal level of Deus Ex Human Revolution was initially meant to be a hub city much like Detroit with vendors and subquests. Buildings were designed and developers have said in interviews that the unique architecture of the city gave a look and feel unseen in any game so far. There were also plans to make Upper Hengishire into a hub as well as India. Ultimately these were all scrapped due to lack of development time as well as a desire to make fewer yet larger hubs. In the original Deus Ex, during sections of the game where the New York skyline is visible in the background, the two towers of the World Trade Center are noticeably missing. The real towers were destroyed one year after the game was released. Harvey Smith has explained that due to texture memory limitations, the portion of the skyline with the twin towers does exist in the game's data files, but had to be left out of the final game. According to Smith, during the game's development, the developers justified the lack of the towers by stating that terrorists had destroyed the World Trade Center earlier in the game's storyline. Tomb Raider Lara Croft of Tomb Raider was originally a male Indiana Jones clone, before being changed to a South American adventurer named Laura Cruz. They eventually changed her name to Croft to be UK friendly and the U was taken out of her name due to pronunciation issues with Americans. Lara was also supposed to have grenades, dual Uzis and a rocket launcher in the first game, but most of the ideas were scrapped due to technical limitations. The developers gave Lara dual pistols instead and made the Uzis a game pickup. Tomb Raider Legend was also supposed to let Lara use a rocket launcher as shown in the concept art, but it was scrapped. Splinter Cell Splinter Cell began internally as an RTS at Ubisoft and before it made its way to a stealth action game, it took a pit stop where it spent some time as an adventure game on a floating island. Ubisoft was basically throwing ideas at the board until something stuck, and that idea ultimately became a Metal Gear Solid stealth game competitor. 
Mirror's Edge. The original main protagonist was a special agent armed with a gun, which was set in a sprawling, gritty metropolis. The gameplay mechanics and ideas are pretty much the same, except you could fire while parkouring. In the concept art of Mirror's Edge, a level was not shown in the full game. This level was a prison that was originally part of the main game, where Faith was either arrested and was interrogated by an unknown man in an office, or she had to find Kate. There are still several models and weapons that are still left in the code of the game. These included a CPF officer with a shotgun, a pursuit cop that was never used but is shown in the concept artwork, and a riot officer armed with a shield. Again, this model is also shown in the concept art. It was also shown that police dogs and grenades were originally going to be used, but were later removed, possibly due to the difficulty of the game already. Portal 2 Early in Portal 2's development, it was planned for the game to contain no portals at all. Valve focused on a new gameplay mechanic called F-Stop, and though the new mechanic received some positive feedback, every single playtester was disappointed with the absence of portals. Valve then revised the game to include the portals once again. Minecraft Originally called the Cave Game, Minecraft had a ton of things that they left out. Notch intended to include a sky dimension, which would be the polar opposite of the nether. It was to be included in the Beta 1.8 Adventure update. Players would have been able to enter a world made up of floating formations once they slept in the bed. However, Notch delayed this new area until he could make the nether more interesting. Other blocks and items such as gears, crying obsidian block, were all removed. On a side note, the creepers were based on the failed model of a pig. The length and the height of the pig model were accidentally inverted, resulting in a tall midsection with small legs. And thus, the creeper was born. GoldenEye 64 The game was originally intended, in the first few months of its development, to be an on-rail shooter in the style of Virtual Cop, but this was changed. The solo level also would have been an on-rail shooter, where you would take out enemies from different platforms. The damage had roughly half of its original objectives scrapped during development, as the designers believed it would have been too difficult for a first level. The most notable of these was the Tower 1, a remote island with a mounted wall gun that you can still see a far distance away from the dam overpass. Originally, Bond would have to take the boat onto the island, blow up the machine and possibly retrieve bungee jumping equipment needed to leap off the dam. Bond would also have to destroy the truck halfway through the dam mission when it stops at the depot you were supposed to plant explosives on it. The old Bond's cheat, which would have unlocked all the classic James Bond actors for its multiplayer, was taken out when it became impossible to secure all the necessary licensing rights. The textures didn't remain on the ROM, but the character models themselves were removed. Also, the game originally was never intended to have its famous multiplayer mode. The developers literally added in the feature at the last minute without informing the executives at either Rare or Nintendo. Banjo-Kazooie Originally, the game was supposed to star a human boy named Edison, who fought with a wooden sword against a group of pirates led by Captain Black Eye. It was planned for the Super Nintendo, but had to be moved to the Nintendo 64, due to the fact that the Super Nintendo was in its last days. The character of Edison was changed to a rabbit when Rare felt he was too generic, then a dog, and finally a bear, which they then called Banjo. The story for the game originally was about a giant who kidnapped Banjo's girlfriend Piccolo at a concert the two were watching. The plot to the game originally also had a part where Banjo and Kazooie first met, and where Wombo was originally supposed to be the role for Mumbo. Grand Theft Auto The entire Grand Theft Auto franchise is one. It started life as a pretty normal racing simulator, with police who pulled over racers. However, the AI for the police was far too aggressive and started slamming into racers. Playtesters had much more fun dueling with the police than doing the racing, so the developers made that a core gameplay component, and the franchise was born. Manhunt the Campheads is a gang that was going to appear in Manhunt, but was dropped from the final version. Each member of the Campheads had an actual camera for a head. It was probably an idea to make the Campheads have cameras for heads so that they could record the murders Cash committed on Hunters. It is unknown if the cameras were either their actual heads, or it was some type of mask. The Clowns were supposed to be a final in-hunt gang that the player would encounter and be the hardest to fight. Laughing and shouting, they chased targets mainly for the fun of it, and were known to have excellent hunting skills. It was reported that they had rivalries with the Smileys. The Lost was also a gang that was dropped from the final release. This gang was planned to be found in the scrapyard with rusty pipes and glass shards. Their armour would provide excellent camouflage from the player, and the leader was called Binbag. 
Left 4 Dead. Left 4 Dead was supposedly going to have zombie dogs in the game, but was cut. The sound files are still found in the PC version of the game, however. The beta version was going to have Zoe showing some romantic interest to Francis, but was cut from the game due to the playtesters deeming it too distracting. The files for the conversation are still present. However, one beta dialogue still plays out in the game, but it makes no sense. The beta version of Francis showed him with a beer belly, while his vinyl version, he does not have it. There were several enemies that were removed from the game, one being the Screamer, that wore a straitjacket, would run from survivors, hide, then let out a scream attracting the horde. Obviously it was removed, because game testers found it too difficult to locate and kill him before he could summon a horde. Finally, in Left 4 Dead, sound files, there are sounds similar to a dog. Although, there is no mention of zombie dogs appearing in Left 4 Dead, Valve was planned to introduce these canines into the fray. Perhaps it was the sheer amount of infected already in the game that it was the sole reason why they were removed. Super Mario 64 There were supposed to be 32 worlds rather than the 15 that were shipped. Players were also supposed to be able to take control of both Mario and Luigi and complete different parts of the castle simultaneously which obviously means the game was originally a multiplayer game. Yoshi was also supposed to have a much larger role in this game rather than just hiding on the roof of the castle. Cameo Cameo had a very large amount of concept art and more importantly alpha cutscenes depicting a substantial amount of game mechanics that never made it into the final product. These included what appeared to be a garden for the baby versions of the Metamental Warriors, multiple cutscenes that didn't happen in the final game, small dragon sidekicks for cameo and several locations not found in the final product. All of this cut content is understandable considering cameo's lengthy development cycle, as well as its final rush schedule to get cameo into the launch window of the Xbox 360. Half-Life and Half-Life 2 Mr. Friendly was an enemy that was set to be in the first Half-Life. It would be able to knock off Freeman's glasses and cause his vision to go blurred, which was considered an impressive effect back then, but was cut for being very annoying. Also, it would kill Freeman by raping him. A monster that was cut from Half-Life 2 was the Hydra, which was cut because it, although it looked cool, it was no fun to fight at all. There were also some coding issues since it would impel whoever attacked it. Alex Vance was originally the daughter of a military leader, Captain Vance, when the area he appeared in, the air exchange was cut. Alex became Eli's daughter. So just a few weeks before the announcement of the game, Alex was a generic video game heroine, and Dr. Preen spent much of the development cycle half transformed into a combine alien. Wolfenstein 3D Wolfenstein started as a much more Metal Gear Solid style stealth combat game, with features like switching uniforms with guards, dragging bodies to avoid discovery, and using the knife to silently attack enemies, instead of loading them with gunfire. The game's pace was slow, so because of all this complexity, they dropped it to speed up the game and in doing so, invented the frantic first-person shooter gameplay style we all know and love. Duke Nukem Forever Duke Nukem Forever was initially going to be a side-scroller called Duke Forever, with Dr. Proton as the main antagonist. The plot would have involved Duke trying to stop Proton from cutting the state of California off from the rest of the country, battling Protonite cyborgs and other enemies on his way to a final clash with Proton himself. Proton was also going to be the main baddie of the Duke Nukem Forever, as shown in the E3 2001 trailer. That version would have had Proton trying to take over the world by using technology stolen from Area 51. Duke's female sidekick, Bombshell, was set to be an integral part of the story. When Gearbox Software got their hands on Duke Nukem Forever, Bombshell was off limits as she was still owned by 3D Realms, so she was taken out of the final release. Super Smash Bros. Brawl Super Smash Bros. Brawl has shown a number of scrapped ideas and codes still found in the game that were unused in the final outcome. For starters, the names of at least seven removed characters. Mewtwo, Delta Mario, Roy, Plus Away Minin, Dixie Kong, Toon Zelda and Toon Sheik. It seems none of them got particularly far into development outside of Mewtwo, who still has data referring to the classic mode portrait and victory theme. Interesting, it was said that Sonic and Solid Snake weren't going to be the only characters from their franchises. Shadow and Grey Fox were supposed to join them. However, Sega and Konami vetoed this and they were demoted to assist trophies instead. Some unused files in Brawl suggest that several familiar enemies from the Kirby series, including Bronto Burt, Blade Knight and Bonkers, were supposed to appear as enemies in the single player mode. 
as well as Buzzy Beetle and Droid Burns from the Mario series. None of these actually made it into the game, though the models were used for a few of the trophies. Conker's Bad Fur Day It might not be surprising to learn that Conker started out as a children's platformer, called Conker's Quest. The game was announced in 1997, changed to 12 Tales Conquer 64, and looked like an unspectacular platformer that did little to separate itself from Rare's other Nintendo 64 titles, like Banjo Kazooie and Donkey Kong 64. After several complaints, the disgruntled Rare team went underground and re emerged in 2000 as the profane, adult oriented game we know and love. Okami Okami is one of gaming's most visually compelling experiences, but it didn't start out that way. In the beginning, Okami strived for realism. Switching to the cell shaded art style was done out of technical necessity so that Clover could fit as much onto the disc as possible. Once Clover landed in an art style it liked, it ran with it at full speed and created a game that would never look dated. The Doom series the original concept of Doom was reported as very different, including gameplay that would be more story and puzzle based, making it more like a first person adventure game. Screenshots and scripts still exist of these early versions and early beta versions released on the internet show it as a much slower and less action packed game. In Doom 3, the alpha build consisted of a mechanic which allowed the player to hide from enemies, giving the option to fight them if they really wished to. Many new scripted events happened when enemies were encountered, showing off the game's physics and particle effects, and the corpses never dissolved like they did in the final release. The famous pinky demon in the bathroom was first leaked all over the internet on forums, but was actually never shown in the final version. However, it was originally planned for the game in the alpha build, but was removed for unknown reasons. The game was also supposed to introduce a bird demon and spider mastermind. Both look great by concept art standards and rendered, but the developers removed them from the final game. The game was also planned to introduce enemy game over animations, but for unknown reasons it was removed. This scene shown is what happened if the player failed to defeat a Hell Knight. Bioshock Bioshock's original story had nothing to do with Andrew Ryan or Underwater Cities. Players took on the role of a character called Carlos, who was hired by a senator to rescue someone from a cult and reprogram them back into normal society. They wanted it to take place on land in a series of interconnected, controlled environment chambers, created by 1940s Germany. The laboratories would be full of mysteriously dead human bodies being overrun by strange, insectoid lifeforms called gatherers, who collected genetic material and body parts. The protectors for the gatherers were called the aggressors. Among other things promised was the ability to alter the controlled environment, such as raising the temperature in an area, protecting yourself from heat exhaustion and allowing you to sprint in bullet time. Borderlands Borderlands, much like Okami, began its life with a realistic visual direction. The first teaser trailer for the game showed off a realistic shooter set in an intimidating wasteland. The game was originally going to have randomly generated vehicles that could be collected like guns, as well as a way to hijack a vehicle from a bandit. The dungeons would also have random elements as well, like a cave or fortress. When the switch occurred, people were upset, but after the game released, everyone could see why the cartoonish style meshed perfectly with the game's humour. Condemned Criminal Origins Condemned Criminal Origins was originally known as The Dark, quite far into production. Under its name, the game was largely similar but differed in several key areas. The player character was known as Agent Cross, and the game appeared to follow him on a government sanctioned investigation, rather than acting as a rogue on the run from the law. Although Cross possessed the supernatural learnings of Thomas from the final game, he would actually use various magical spells. For example, a spell could be uttered to pull a gun from the enemy's hands, and another saw doors and other obstacles break in front of the player, seemingly negating the need for a fire axe. The forensic tools used by Cross also differed, as the detection and collection tools were typically one individual item. The UV light, for instance, could illuminate clues and then be used as physically to swipe across them to take samples. There were also unused enemies and weapons that are shown in the concept art of the final game, such as the fire extinguisher and an asylum patient. There's a few characters missing in the sequel too that were only shown in the concept art, and there was also another weapon that wasn't used in the final game. Team Fortress 2 
Valve is renowned for allowing its games to just stay over a long period of time, and Team Fortress 2 was one of the developer's biggest offenders. The game was in development for nearly a decade. It was shown off for the first time in 1999 at E3 with a realistic military art direction subtitled Brotherhood of Arms. Then in 2003 it was reworked into a game called Invasion, which centred around a human-alien conflict, and then it just sort of disappeared. Many assumed the game had been abandoned, as most of the team was working on other Valve projects. In 2006, the game was re-unveiled with its vastly altered art direction. The Man vs Machine mode was actually going to let players play as red and blue, just like in the trailer. Playtesters reportedly found this too confusing, so the mode only allowed you to play as red. The Legend of Zelda series in Twilight Princess, there are a few leftover enemies who are still in the game code, including a Twilight Palace monster that can knock you 10 feet away, and a two-story golem made of rolled up golems. They were sadly never used in the full game. Death Mountain was supposed to be included somehow into this game, yet the path is blocked off mysteriously by an invisible wall, clearly highlighting that the developers were planning to introduce this area into the game, but it was left out. In Wind Waker, there's data for an item called the Water Boots. Putting them on causes Link to do the animation for them on, but they don't appear and they don't do anything. They are probably intended to allow Link to sink to the bottom of the water, or walk on the surface of it. Zelda Ocarina of Time was originally planned to be played in a first person perspective. The game changed to third person because Shigeru Miyamoto wanted the player to witness the change from young Link to adult Link. He also wanted to showcase the animation sets for Link, and wanted the player to feel much more immersed in the game. Quite a few things were also removed. Most notably the wind and the ice medallions. The forest portion of Ganon's castle and the ice cavern have more in common with the scrapped wind and ice temples than the aforementioned forest and water temples. An Arwing was also a foddable enemy which was originally used to test the Zed targeting in early development. In the fire temple, the original music heard sounded like the Arabic for the first pillar of Islam. There is no god but God and Mohammed is his prophet. The music was later replaced to the same droning ambience but without the chanting. The Gerudo Crest and the Mirror Shield were altered because the Gerudo Crest was too similar to the Islamic Crescent Moon. In early versions of Zelda Majora's Mask, the moon had no face. This could be why some promotional art shows the moon with no face, 